Um, you're gonna, we'll, we'll organize uh, feeder movements to come in from neighborhoods and we'll be convening at Pioneer Square at five o'clock. Um, and that's where we'll start. We'll start the movement, we'll get you know, support, you know, get everybody all fired up. Um, and we're gonna keep this family friendly. Um, occupation, you know, Occupy Portland is made of families. Um, and so we want everybody to bring theirs and come and have an Occu potluck. It's going to start at 6 p.m. Everybody has great, great cookie recipes, baked beans, whatever. Um, bring so bring food. We're going to have the potluck here between 6 to 8. 8 o'clock. There's a concert here that's planned. So what better place to have you know families, everybody in Portland together? Um, this will be able to listen to the music, and then that night, you know, we'll have. Everybody here, the community will be here, and we'll all be able to stand together and uh, solidify together. Um, I have flyers that I'm working on getting tomorrow afternoon at noon. Um, so come meet at Rumors at noon. Um, hopefully they'll be done by then. Um, that you can take out into your communities. Um, get that support from your friends, your family, your neighbors, um, because that's where our strength lies. Is in, is in what's outside. Bring it in, and uh, we can keep this camp together. So um, that's 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 uh, our working group's proposal. So just bringing that up to you. Think about chewing. Oh, clarify question. Some, some people yes. don't know what rumors is. Oh, rumors is the coffee shop in Alpha Camp. Yes, indeed. Um, so that's that's where I will try to have flyers, and I'm not going to have enough. But word of mouth is more powerful than paper, I say. So. Any more, any more clarifying questions? Yeah. Flyers online. Flyers online. I'm going to work on that tonight and get that up on the website so we can we can have that. Yeah. When are we proposing to split up into those neighborhood action committees, action groups? Um, I thought we'd work through the stack and uh, the facilitators will help make that possible. So yeah. Thank you. Take it away. If when we come back from our small breakout groups and we decide that we all adopt that idea of outreach, which sounds like we do, then we can break up into different neighborhoods to see who can network together. Is that okay? Okay. We just want to make sure everyone's on board with that decision first. We can when the time comes. We're going to hear these other things first. I just have a quick suggestion that we call it the Occu Party instead of the Occu Potluck, just because I think it should be bigger. But that's just a suggestion. Um, I, I think if um, you know there were 10,000 people who marched in, in the streets on October 6, so I think our plan makes sense because I do think that it's where it exists. I do think if we're going to invite folks to come back to the park, I know when I throw a party, I kind of clean my house before. Um, before I throw and so I think tomorrow maybe we can all just really pitch in and clean up. I'm not and, and clean up the camp, make it look really nice. I know that um, there are committees that, in terms of um, the possible eviction, they need to get their stuff together. They're preparing to stay, preparing to go, whatever. But if we can really just sort of have the sense of folks chipping in tomorrow to clean up the camp, make it look really nice, so that when the party comes or the potluck comes, that um, that we have a presentable house. <laughs> Um, I'm sleep deprived again. Hypocrisy's a bitch, eh? Yeah? yeah. We all hate hypocrites and Nazis and crap, right? Yeah. Shut up. So keep that in mind as I read this, because I wrote it because I'm sleep deprived. Cops are people too, FYI. And they will be here. They will be around. They could be hiding in the trees and the porta potties for all I care. What worries me regarding cops is that some of us still want to ignore them as if that will make them go away. So, I wish I had time to formally propose this. All I know for sure is that a few awesome campers that I've talked to agree. So, should we or should we not formally invite the cops to join us tomorrow night? It's going to be the spokesperson model. They are the 99%, whether we like it or not. That's a good enough temp check for me, to be honest, because my prepared speech involves the line, if Occupy Portland isn't going to do it, Ivy Knight will. There's enough people sitting in this crowd know uh, ha, 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 how important my name is to me. 
So I'll go talk to him if you guys want, but if someone else wants to and is more, you know, professional about it, that's a good idea. Awesome. That's a really good example of things that you guys can talk about in your breakout groups. We're going to call one more stack before we move into the breakout groups. I just want to reiterate that you will have a chance to have your voice heard because we'll be in the breakout groups and then come back together. So if you're not called now, your voice will be heard. So you're one. Um, two, you're three, and, uh, four. All right. So everyone who I just called, come and line up in your order, please. Hello, friends. My name is Dan Kaufman. And I would like to offer a uh, suggestion and also want to let you know about something happening tomorrow night. My suggestion is, bring a bicycle, and bring a lock, okay? Any kind of lock. My, uh, the action that's going on tomorrow night is, well, tomorrow is Veterans Day, 11, 11, 11. And we are going to meet at Colonel Summers Park at 545 and ride down here and after, for General Assembly. And after General Assembly, we are going to do a war memorial ride, and that's going to include the Sunset Highway, which is a war memorial highway, so in honor of our veterans. So if you uh, care to join me, you can meet me again, 545 Colonel Summers Park. We'll ride down here for General Assembly, or after General Assembly, for our war memorial ride. Thank you. I, I would just like to propose that if um, if we get out into the community and, and do volunteer work, it would be an awesome way for us to outreach and, and connect with our neighbors. I just want to say that. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I just wanted to offer as a solution that um, Occupy adopt one message moving forward. And I do believe that that message should be um, the Bay Forward Society in the sense that we are going to value all human beings on this planet stop using currency and move forward as one um, people, which I see happening in this camp, and it's amazing. What I want to offer is a solution for Saturday. I think instead of having a violent confrontation, I think Portland as a model for the rest of the Occupy movement should peacefully clear the park, but come back and the next day and, and every day and be out in the community promoting a pay it forward society in which we value human life because money is useless and it's not helping anything and we could all live in a very technologically advanced planet but we need to bring that, that message and right now we have an opportunity because we have all these cells all over the world ready to bring the message and bottom line, we can make it happen. If you believe. If you believe. Hello, what's going on? <laughs> I'll keep it quick, promise. Um, I'll just keep it, well, um, I was just over, um, you know, over at Beta Camp, whatever, just like an hour ago before she started. And I just, they, with, this is about the, with the police. Um, two officers, I sit up and say, hello officers, how are you doing? You know, that was, you know. But what they looked, I said, well, you just, now how they looked, it was kind of evil. It was not bad, it was evil. <laughs> Seriously. And um, the op so I said, um, so I said, well, I said, well, you know, I respect people that put their lives, you know, their lives up for danger. They, you get a job that, you know, for me, when I call for help, you're putting your life in danger. Now the officer, I remember the exact words were, <laughs> the, the exact words were, the, I'm sorry, the exact words were, um, he said, you said that like I really give a fuck. So, yeah, and I swear that on everything. Uh -huh. And but what I'm just saying is, I'm still willing. I'm sorry, I'm pausing it because I'm getting one person just whatever. But anyway, um, this could be sooner. Um, for someone who experienced that, trust and believe, I heard a lot of worse things from the police and everything like that from my travels. And my thing is, I still I'm for actually inviting them tomorrow for, to the party. Not all of them. I'm going to say this as a black man and all this. I'm going to use common sense. No, all the police officers are not bad. Now, I will say they're paid to be assholes, but 
you know? So I'm gonna help, you know, I'm gonna help, um, you know, my girl, whatever, invite police officers and the ones that's here. I invite you to the party tomorrow. and Transitions Working Group, and maybe you took our survey, maybe you're one of the 545 people that took a survey that I and others distributed last week, and if so, thank you, that was awesome. The things that we heard through that survey, which is available on the Occupy Portland website, and if you don't have web access, we have paper copies here, and at the info booth, and then I've been hearing those things reiterated tonight, and so I kind of just wanted to sum them up so that when we break out into our little discussions, we can think about these four things that we've heard in a consolidated way. Uh, the first, obviously, hold the space. This is our hold and grow proposal, but we didn't know there wouldn't be proposals tonight. But I'll sum it up for the discussion groups. The hold and grow proposal includes holding the space non-violently, with passive resistance, and a festival Saturday night to celebrate freedom of speech and freedom from oppression. We want to call for support from the community. We want to secure equipment that needs secured and pro uh, personal property that can't be risked. And we want to secure people. Okay, second part. An indoor space is in the works. This will be available for securement of equipment as well as a place for vulnerable populations who cannot risk arrest to grow. It's in the works. We don't know the details yet, but it's going to be a possible resource for expensive electronics and most importantly for people that have no other place to go and need, need some place to occupy when the police come in. Um, sidewalk activities, um, occupations, and day activities regardless of whether we're evicted or not need to continue to happen. And finally, we need an accountability group to form. If you have skills for something like that, um, I encourage you to somehow identify yourself to the other people around. This accountability group will be to hold the city accountable for the statement they made that they're going to assist the vulnerable in transition uh, to resources that the city provides. So if they put you in an apartment that's really shitty, we need someone from the accountability group to hold the city responsible to get them to a good place. Things like that. Yeah. So, four things to talk about in the groups. I think we all agreed on them. The survey showed that. Again, we have those surveys available if you want to see the results. Yeah. Yeah. Good evening. Um, so you have to be very careful with what you say to GAs because People tend to discern things and uh, uh, try to dissect whatever you say, but if this is a game of chess that we're playing, this is our queen. The Portland occupation is our queen. We cannot give up that piece. They would like to push us aside to the waterfront. Yes, this is, they would like to push us aside from the waterfront, but in my personal belief, I don't believe that we should give up any land because this is where we are. We can, we can choose to move aside when they come. We can peacefully leave or we can stay and be in front of where we are in front of. That is the strategic point. The waterfront, they're not going to see us. They've got to see us when they open up their windows. Every time they come out of those doors, we are the splinter. We are the thorn in their foot. And it is infected. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I know everybody has a lot to say and hopefully we can say it together in small breakout groups. So I just want, what we're really trying to get from these groups, again, broad visioning, the sentiment and the feeling that you want the next couple days and especially Saturday, Saturday night to take. We want to know, if you do, if your group does come up with a solution that involves a tactical or logistical idea as long as it's really 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 easy to implement and very very broad to adopt then feel free to bring it forward but if it gets down to like how outreach should go to different uh, neighborhoods and what people are going to tackle that or if it gets down to like what food is going to be brought to the potluck and things like that just Please know that the working groups that coalesce from this discussion and the Spokes Council will be addressing those details.